Good afternoon. It's 3.30, if you wouldn't mind, uh, come on in, take a seat, or hang out. We do have water over here underneath the Walker Rocks tent, so if you need uh, some water, there's also some cookies and frisbees as well. Thank you for joining us on this most exciting day. It's the next step that we're taking forward in really a, a four-year-old effort to turn an idea into reality. I'm Joe Legay, I'm the Public Relations Director for Walker County Government and one of the team members in Walker County that has been involved in bringing Adventure Acres to life. We consider what will be built here to be the county's first signature park because of the number of experiences that are gonna be available here for both children and adults that will create a true landmark or showpiece for Walker County. Now as the father of three children, Chairman Shannon Whitfield has spent his share of time at playgrounds. <laughs> He's seen the need firsthand for more play opportunities in Walker County and has shared that vision to create a unique play experience that the community can be proud of. Here to tell us a little bit more about the work that has gone into this project is Chairman Whitfield. It's got a fresh battery, but you have to kind of heat it. Okay. All right, thank you, Joe. I appreciate everybody coming out today, and it's great that the leadership class is part of this event today. And I went through leadership back in 1996, lived in this county all my life, and I really learned a lot going through leadership. So I know it would be very valuable to each one of y'all. But this has been a uh, project that we've all been very excited about. And uh, also having a son that uh, has autism, is on the spectrum, and I've already taken him over to our other playground at the Civic Center and he's already critiqued it and told me what he wanted different and things that we should expand on and implement. So I've got a lot of first-hand input at home about how Adventure Acres should be. So I think he's going to be really thrilled when this project is completed and I think all of our children in our community will be. And so this project has been uh, something we've worked on for probably about three years now in collaboration with our partners at the city of Rawlsville. And we did a master plan originally and set a vision for what this whole campus could look like. And it's like most anything else, it's waiting on that funding opportunities. And so uh, we were made aware of a state grant that was available for outdoor uh, infrastructure in communities. And so Joe Legee did a tremendous amount of work uh, researching that, preparing for that grant, submitted that application and uh, was able to get everything documented and with the help of uh, Mike Cameron as a representative, uh, rooting for us and pulling for us at the state capitol has really helped us get this over the finish line. And so we are just tickled that uh, collaboration with the city, collaboration with a representative, uh, everyone working together. Uh, we also uh, got our board of commissioners to put additional funding with this project so we can make it even bigger and better than what the actual grant funding actually was going to to accommodate for us and so we want this to be as joe says one of our a signature opportunity for our community to be able to take and implement this and also be able to expand this facility hopefully in the future and also do other outdoor experiences across the county because there is a great need for outdoor recreation and for people to be able to play in their own community and not have to travel long distances to find a great opportunity to play. So just super pumped about this, glad we're getting this off the ground and we're just thrilled also we got a great beautiful day to come out and celebrate this together. So thank you all for being here today. Well, as many of you know, Rossville used to have an amazing playground just a short walk from here. Just It was right over there. My kids play baseball and softball and have played on that playground many times, so they were, they were sad to see it go. But obviously, due to maintenance issues and some safety issues, uh, it, it had to go about three years ago when the, when the city removed it. So we're grateful that the city of Rossville uh, was willing to deed over this property to the county so that we could bring a playground back to this area. Mayor Pro Tem Jonathan Lassner sends his regrets that he can't be here just yet for the program. He's on his way. Um, but we know, he know, yeah, I know. How about that? Uh, he knows that this, this project will have a positive impact for children in the community. Uh, 
not just city residents, county residents, because it's going to increase their physical activity for area children and youth. But he, he did say that we could uh, we could designate someone from the city of Rossville to come speak on his behalf. And Rosanna, everybody pointed to your direction. So if you wouldn't mind, please come on up and say a few words about uh, playing in Rossville. This is Rosanna Jenkins, the city clerk. Thank you. I already spoke to the, the leadership class here today, so I guess I'll just be repeating myself. Uh, we have several opportunities coming up. Uh, we have Christmas tree decorating. Erica's here. She's over the Christmas tree decorating contest that we'll be having at the John Ross Commons. It's the 23rd. Um, we have 12 trees, 12 teams decorating those. The library is going to be set up to have children's ornaments. They're going to have a tree there for them to put those on. Um, before that comes up, the chamber is going to have the uh, One Walker Luncheon, and Rossville is hosting it on the 21st. That's going to be at the Western Electric Building. You'll sign up for that through the chamber. Um, last year it was a very good turnout for that. We would love for everybody to come and attend that event. And then Saturday the 23rd, we'll have the Christmas tree decorating contest. We'd love for everybody to come back for that as well. And then our Christmas parade is December the 5th, 6.30. It begins here at the park, and it will go through Rossville and end at John Ross Commons. John Ross, we have this event that is going to be very new to Rossville, and even though we deeded this to the county, we still consider it ours. Um, but we have John Ross Commons that's going to have a brand new playground up there. Same grant that the county did, we got for up there, and Mike helped us with that as well. Um, that should be completed hopefully by the end of the year. We're hoping that's going to be done. We had some setbacks with the prefab building that's supposed to be set. The streetscape project up there is very near completion. We like some street lights to be put up, but the sidewalks and everything, it looks beautiful up there. If you haven't been in a while, circle through there. It looks great. So we have several businesses. We're getting a new Taco Bell that will be coming to Russell soon. Um, we have the new pizza place on McFarland, so a new grocery store that's going in up on Chickamauga Avenue. So we have several things going. If, if you all will just come back and be with us and enjoy the holidays with us. And we're, we're excited that this project can be a part of all the things that are moving Rossville forward. You know, it does take a broad coalition of support to make a project like this happen. And in addition to the city and the county working together on this, State Representative Mike Cameron wrote a letter of support for this project that was made part of our grant application. And we're pleased that he could join us today all the way back from Atlanta. Representative Mike Cameron. Okay, hold, it to the right. hold it to the right. Hold it to the right. Well, I'm, I'm good at holding things to the right. I'm a conservative. Uh, thank you for... Uh, Thank you for allowing me to speak. Uh, how about that? Is that better? Okay. Uh, first, I want to thank Governor Kemp uh, for his help with this and my old friend, uh, former Senator Mollis, with this. But playing is important. Playing is, is important for physical activity. It certainly is. But it's also good for children and their minds to get outside and experience the things that many of us who have been around a while have experienced. Playing is fun. It's, it gives you a whole new world to... Uh, do things and, and to uh, your, your imagination, you, you, you can do all kinds of things on a playground and uh, it, it will be fun for the kids. It'll also be good for the community. We, one of the things that we need to do is build a sense of community. If we can get people out to the playground, not only the children, but their parents as well, then we can get people excited about our community and it can go from there and build on that and build on that excitement. We also have a project in Lafayette where they're building a rock climbing wall and that's going to be exciting for that. Uh, I'm not going to climb the wall uh, because I'd break into about 500 pieces, but, but the government can work for the people with things like this, and, and I really appreciate the state seeing the, the potential for this and, and the need. Uh, one thing we're also working on, if we can ever get a federal budget passed, we have money in the federal budget for the Start the Sewer Project in Rossville. We've been working with Senator Warnock and, and Congresswoman Green, and if they can ever get a budget passed, then we can start that project as well. So there's good things happening in Rossville, and 
Rosanna was talking about, Rosanna was talking about a lot of those things. There's good things happening, and it's just going to build on itself. And I think this will give Russell some momentum and start for more things in the future, and I'm looking forward to it. Thank you. Well, back in 2018, the county partnered with the Walker County Chamber of Commerce to position our community or start positioning our community as a destination for outdoor recreation by promoting our existing assets under the Walker Rocks banner. And while Adventure Acres is being built for the community, we do know that it will also attract folks for miles around outside the area. And here to tell us a little bit about why outdoor recreation and tourism is important to our community is Allison Ford, the Chamber President. Um, I have been here with the Chamber for two months now, and I am very much enjoying getting to know Walker County from this point of view. Um, business development and tourism in Walker County is pretty robust at the moment, and it's fun to watch all that's going on. Um, like Shannon Whitfield, I too have three children and have spent hours upon hours on playgrounds, and while they have all become fun young adults now. I remember the fantastic days I spent meeting other families at the park. And I think when people arrive in community spaces, they come with so many different ways of communicating and engaging with the world. But when you think about that universal language of um, joy and adventure that comes with athletics and being on a playground, um, we come together in a unique and special kind of way when we find ourselves in settings like this. Uh, we all know that Walker County has a foundation well held in agriculture and um, also in our tourism that's found in our beautiful parks set in the forests. But places like this that are emerging both down in our Rock Springs area recently and now coming along here in Rossville will serve these municipalities that are developing quickly and it's really exciting. Um, it'll be a great place for building community and this, what I've seen as far as the layout for this playground, it's just unbelievable and I can't imagine what it'll bring to Rossville. It's our hope that um, as people explore this space that they'll also be frequenting the local businesses here in Rossville as they come and go from this space following games or engagements here in the park. Um, we think that places like this are a true stepping stone for business development and tourism as well. So, thanks so much. Representative Cameron, we're going to have a zip track here. Would you be willing to oh, test down. it out no, sure. when we get it? Great, I'll test it out too. I'll go I'll with you. My <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, I would also like to take a moment to recognize a few other key individuals who helped bring Adventure Acres to life. Former Rossville Mayor Teddy Harris was involved, also former Rossville Councilman Michael Hicks and Walker County Commissioner Robert Blakemore. I believe just Teddy is here with us today, but if you all wouldn't mind, please give them a round of applause. Well, as you can see, we're already moving forward with construction. We do have a goal, a goal of being ready and open by Memorial Day of 2025. I've got my fingers crossed really tightly on that one. So we hope that we will see everyone back here in about six months as we open this signature park in the county. So that's gonna conclude the talky part of our program, but I would like to invite uh, Chairman Whitfield and also any Walker County Commissioner who might have snuck in or any Rossville City Council member, State Representative Cameron, Allison Ford and representatives from Barge game time and pillar construction who are partnering with us on this project to join me over at the shovels so we can do the ceremonial ceremonial <laughs> groundbreaking and then also before you go please drop by the tent over here uh, for some walker rocks and adventure acres swag thank you for coming <laughs>